of, I think, across the United States will soon become fans, if they haven't already, of Rosario. And Sidney Nathan of England, who told you against it. But Rosario is the champion with under as a big opportunity. A sparse first round. Davis out inside of per se. But Davis certainly cannot part him if it does go to 12 rounds. Out of the base of Rosario as he Davis, but he does throw them. Davis, a quick jab. Couldn't get Rones here with less than a minute to go in the first round. There's that quick. That jab fucked up by the champion again, looping left, partially landed by Howard Davis. Now, going second as he pinned Davis, but obviously nothing very serious at this early stage. Davis standing to hold his... Both fans showing up. Rosario having to contend with the quickness of Davis. Catching. That's the most telling blow so far. They lost the ring. The rain three or four from down. And he goes. Howard... Crowd good winds down. Said he got him in trouble. Howard Davis tried to recover. Took that... One, two, as we'll have one more look from another angle. Davis just missed with his right. And as Cork takes Howard Davis out in less than... His corner is told to make it busy third round. Drop with the left. Rosario has something off the canvas. Ready to mix it with him here in round. Reached the one-minute mark of this third round. Both hands now go to work on the part of Rosario. Good guard held up high. Davis just debating that left hand. The right was thrown. He stepped out of the way of it. And right hand. Buck Rosario. He takes the left. Files at Davis now. But no question. Fourth they go. Two very capable. Davis looking up. Davis has bounced back. It's left out in full command right here. Late in since the opening bell. In particular, Rosario's attack. His knees just buckled to DC, lightweight champ, and Davis, in our view, winning that third round, agreed to take on Ramirez within 90 days and put the championship back on the line. But now, great body of the fourth round in San Juan. Rosario taking the action to Davis. Back and forth they go. Davis pinned against the ropes, taking tremendous abuse from Rosario. First the body, then to the head. The body flicks the jab out again. Back down, it's been a good one for Rosario. With a combination. Good left thrown by Howard Davis. Caught his flush on the jaw, and Rosario keeps coming in. Both fans getting tremendous knockout opportunity. A little over a minute of chance, taking his time again. Davis with a good combination. Davis simply allows him to lean out of the way of those blows. Four coming to a close in San Juan. Both men have been in front of Davis seven years as a player. And the heat of Rosario is so evident. To uh, admire what Howard did. It is Davis. To keep what he's got, and Davis is intent on taking it away from again over on those ropes from the fifth round now. Sin on Rosario. From London, England. Backs him away again. I don't... The Rosario guard held high as Davis bangs away in that corner. Tries to hold him there. Gets his combination with blocked by Rosario. Fan has thrown an abundance of punches in this round. There's a grazing blow. A left hand lands. A chopping right hand by Rosario Land. 12 round test for the WBC lightweight champion. Howard Davis, after the first couple of rounds, has fought magnificently. It's the midway point of this round six. Rosario, who started fairly aggressively, is not fighting that way now. Ding, with emotion. Yeah, very concerning. The way we see it, take a lead. It can ship out in San Juan. It was the wrist that was fractured past the halfway. He has only got the fans whistling now because they're stunned at Rosario's inactivity. He fires a weapon. And then Dick, 30 seconds to good one. Good and one. Round seven at an end now. Giant of the man. Once again, the pace. Back out of those ropes. This crowd in San Juan, just over a minute, going around the belt of Rosaria. Then in the ensuing rounds, this is round. Does go to 12 rounds.
given a round to Rosario since the second. But he has been reluctant to use the right hand because no question that Davis has gained confidence. The awesome chap down has been entering but awesome to Howard Davis. And yet Davis must not career and needs to pile them up fairly quick through about two minutes and this is the ninth rule for 12 in San Juan Puerto Rico afternoon. There's a combination that finally came. There was a mark over the other mark from the odd flurry. Rosario not doing much, you know, short again, failing to get inside the reach. Open and feet of Howard Davis of Lock. Missing with a jab. He locked Davis there with a shot for the first time in eight rounds. Rosario stepping out of trouble. He did take some spinning blows, though. Rosario continues to pour it on, bangs to the body. To get the points he has to compile. Bended off partially by Davis with the guard held up high. The elbows down trying to guard the body, but Rosario having a big 10th round bangs away at the body of Davis, and Davis now has some steam taken out of him from all this punishment. The body shot are half to be telling blows. The body open. He's taken half a dozen dark blows, but the came off his stool. Not the tired body. The 10th round. By the sudden vigor of Rosario coming at him to start this 10th. As Edwin has done virtually nothing. Maybe he was saving a play, dominating the late rounds against him to take the victory right here in San Juan. The M4, despite the impressive round he's enjoying right here. Despite the punishment he's taken, the aggressor just on the side of the face. So obviously the champion is pretty left. The best consistent action of the entire fight. Mostly by Rosario and himself and take it to an 11 area. Uh, Rosario's tiring and come after him again. He did so brilliantly in the 10th round. Whichever way it may have brought him to this second, third. If he does not, it was Rosario who laid back. Both men have a case of Rosario than Davis who does. Davis catching him on the way. Peter landed by was to be respected too. He throws it in a real hurry. And that's what slowed Davis down appreciably back in that 10th round. Body shots were very telling. And he goes back to the G now with less than a minute to go. Rosario looks for that big punch to take him out. Rosario, despite his desire, had come out a serious rally, but we're going to play in this 12th and final round coming up. And given on fairly even terms after a big 10th round for Rosario. Round 11 comes to an end. Point well taken that to beat a champ is to know. That's what he appears to be doing here in this round. He knows he has to avoid any possibility of a knockout, and yet at the same time, around the WBC world, likely seated in silencing for the most part this crowd, partisan in favor of Rosario in this 12th round. And they were hooping and hollering in the tent when their man was on the attack. Good counter punching by Rosario there, and they cover up after he initiated the. And now Rosario finishing up beautifully with the uppercut of the shoulder, as you can see, at the midway point of the 12th and final round. These two men have put on a tremendous show here in search of the title in San Juan. More body shots. And up to the head with the right hand. Then Davis with a hook. Then a switch. Both men have thrown a great many punches right here in this sequence. Never mind in the 12 rounds they've gone through. Fact that he cannot afford to let up. It's got to be a big and impressive a minute to go on the bow. He is doing what his corner told him, taking the him all the way. But that right came out and struck him. Now the left and the right. A grazing right, a chopping right, the left hand. It is Rosario now in the final flurry in the last 35 seconds. The crowd here in the corner taking right down to the bow. 12th round. Two hungry boxers. What? Almost desperate to take it away from him. Coming down to the final 10 seconds. This flurry now belongs. Oh, here's the punch. Davis with 10 seconds goes down. He's got and got caught once again. Half the bell. The well under has defended his title in a